this one. Okay, well this is a little light. So hello, um, my name is Charm and this is Awesome Treasures Ministry. So hello Pray and Share Warriors. That is what I call my people that come and watch are my Pray and Share Warriors because we are praying and we are sharing. And so we want to pray for people and we want to share the the truth of God and the gospel of Jesus. Okay. So I like to do my prayer and I like to do my prayer on my knees and um, my uh, my hip is really bothering me today. I don't know if it's because it's 20 something degrees outside. That's why I have the snow and the effects on this other um, my Cyberlink UCAM. I don't really know where the um, I don't know where the file is on my computer. I'm going to have to look for it after I do this. But anyway, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn some new things. This is my gigantic water, which I really like because that way I don't have to drink 10 glasses of water a day. All right, what is in the way there? That is. That is all of a sudden in the way. It wasn't, and now it is. Well, that's just so fun. Okay, so let's pray. God, we just come to you, and we just want to thank you because you are on your throne, and you are in control. And God, we just... Um, we know that you are the great I am and you are the great Jehovah. You are from everlasting to everlasting. And God, we just come to you and we just ask that um, you would be with us, God. That you would help us to, um, to share the truth, share your truth, and to share the gospel of Jesus. That you would give us that boldness, God. That... Um, we just thank you, God, because you are our creator, you are our sustainer, you are our protector, our provider, our healer, God. You are everything, God, and we are thankful that we are made in your image, God. We are made just the way that you want us to be made for your plan and purpose, to fulfill your plan and purpose and not ours. And God, we just... Um, we want to lift up some sick people to you, God. We just pray for healing for them. We uh, also pray for their families, for protection, God. We pray for the frontline workers of this disease that we're in. We just pray, God, that you would give them strength and protection, that you would be with them every day, that they would feel your presence, God, that they would seek your face through your word, through prayer and through praise. And God, we pray for protection for their families also. And we pray for the schools, God. We just pray for the teachers, for the administrators, for all the school workers, God. We just pray that this would be a good school year for them. I know many schools are not in school right now. I just pray that people would be healed so they can go back to school. And I just pray, God, for... Um, we also pray for the lost, God. We know that right now that is most important to you. We pray for that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to you, to Jesus, so that they can be saved. We just pray, God, that um, you would, um, we pray for the prodigals to repent of their sins and to return to you, God. We also pray for all the disasters that are happening, God, this year and all that happened last year. We just pray, God, that you would just uh, help these people in their time of need, God, that they would feel your presence, that they would see the hands and feet of Jesus and the love and compassion through others. And God, we just pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. There's been so many, God, 
so many lately, even in our family, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength. And we pray that these people would feel your presence, God. We pray that their memories for their loved ones would be just so good. And that they would know that their loved ones, if they are with you, are in perfect peace. Just wanting for nothing and medically never going to be sick again. So we just thank you, God. We thank you for that perfect place that you're going to take us someday. Either we're going with Jesus or we're just going because our expiration date is up. So in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, oh, hi, my friend Josie. My friend Josie is... good I'm glad it wasn't that computer over there oh my goodness gracious my cat my cat sometimes will sneak up behind me and get in my chair and I sat on my cat while I was praying she got up in the chair she hardly ever does that but that was so funny oh my goodness gracious well hi my friend Josie you got to see me scream oh that scared me so bad <laughs> oh my oh my she cracks me up she's we're kind of mad at each other today because she scratched me but i guess she came in here because she wanted to be with me and i sat on her oh poor cat poor cat because i had no idea she was there she probably got my full weight too oh my that was so funny hmm wow okay i sat on my cat <laughs> oh josie wants to know what happened i sat on my cat she got in my chair while i was sitting down i mean while i was praying i was praying on my knees and she got on my chair that's so funny okay so tonight we're going to talk about that we are made in the image of god and I have done a lesson like this um, before and I just wanted to do something different I just wanted to look up some scriptures and just maybe um, just talk about it and I'm doing two videos so if you see my eyes going back and forth that's what's going on because I'm doing Facebook and I am excuse me videoing myself too on my computer I set up my computer that I usually use for youth I set it up and I'm cleaning off the one that I used for work here and I'm gonna use it for youth when we go back so I'm just gonna have one computer here that I can use and I already have it set up to my printer I'm very excited it's like ooh, it has been a day of getting things done today I've been getting pictures off of things and putting them on other things and I've got to clean my two phones out. I may work on that tomorrow. I don't know what fell. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wait. No. I don't know. Oh, I know. It was my thing over here. I'm just, I have two computers over here on the side. I'm glad it wasn't one of those. Okay, so I sat on the cat my thing that I have um, stuff in it fell over here so it's it's all good we are made in the image of God and the human part of us is not perfect we sit on our cats and we do all kinds of crazy things so but that's okay God accepts us as we are so today has been a good day it's kind of gone by fast I have I've spent most of the day listening to uh, the SEND, the SEND 2021, where they are praying for 80 million people to get saved, and they are praying for 200,000 new missionaries in the younger generations. And so, I'm going to start praying for that too. It's going to start being my prayer too. 80 million people in the United States saved so we need that we really do because a lot of these people that are 
so unhappy. Oh, you thought it was a rat. That <laughs> was my cat. <laughs> How funny. No, it wasn't. If it was, if it would have been a rat, I would have screamed a lot louder. No, it's my cat. Okay, so anyway, let's get into some of these scriptures. And we will start, of course, with Genesis. Because that's where, that's where we begin. We begin in Genesis. We do not exist until Genesis. Genesis 1, 27. Okay. I'm going to start in 26. Because a lot of people, when we say that Jesus was at creation, they don't really understand. Well, how was Jesus at creation? Well, Jesus is part of God. So, of course, he was at creation. But um, let's read Genesis 1, 26 um, through, uh, I think, 28. And God said, let us, us. Jesus and the Holy Spirit were there at creation. Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. See, so we have as man, as mankind, or as humankind, we have dominion over the animals. The animals do not have dominion over us. And we are not to um, worship what God created. We are to worship God. So, God created us in the image of Him, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. We were created in their image. And... Um, Let's see what else we have here. I didn't find a whole lot, but it may be. Sometimes I think the more you put in, the less you get. The more words you put in, the less, the less scriptures you get. So let's... Three of these, though, were exactly the same spot. Okay, so let's look at... Um, Genesis 9 6 which I believe talks about the first murder well maybe not because I think he's talking about Noah but what he says in verse 6 chapter 9 verse 6 whoso sheddeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed for in the image of God made he man man and you be ye fruitful and multiply bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein okay so he was talking to Noah and he was talking to Noah after they got off the ark after they'd been on the ark for 40 days and 40 nights Yes, yes, because the next page is the covenant of the rainbow, which he made with Noah. Okay, so that's what he was talking about, that, um, and there weren't many, there were not many in that family. There were only eight. I read last night that Noah was the eighth. So there were only eight humans that survived the flood. So he was talking to Noah. 
Okay, well, let's move on to, um, let's move on to Colossians 3.10. That was such a fun way to start by sitting on my cat. I hope she's okay. I don't have time to go check on her. I think Seth is upset. I think he's in his room because he's not liking what's on the show in there for him. But oh well, I'll put it on Veggie Tales. But the thing is, he's seen a lot of Veggie Tales. Okay, so Colossians three ten says and have put on the new man let's see i might want to read okay and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him where there is neither greek nor jew circumcision nor uncircumcision barbarian scythian bond or free but christ is all and in all so jesus is in all of us we are created by him for him we're created by God for his his uh, purpose and plan to be fulfilled in our lives not not our own not you know I want to be rich and famous and you know for God's purpose his plan and purpose so put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man have quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things put on love, which is the bond of perfectness. So, we are to also, sounds like, have the characteristics of God. Um, like, um, I lost it. Where was I? 310. Oh, I'm over here. Um, merciful, kind, kind, humble, uh, humble of mind, meek long-suffering, forbearing one another, forgiving one another. You know, forgiveness is so hard, but if we don't forgive others, then God will not forgive us. And I think we studied that last night, or not before last. I am not sure. It just seems like all this about the wall, tearing down the walls, is just all intertwining. Okay, so let's go to Okay, let's go to 2 Corinthians 4. Well, wait a minute. Let me look at 2 Corinthians 3. Uh-oh. My battery is uh on my computer that I'm using is running out. That's something I need to be aware of on this computer is that the battery, I always use it with a plug so the battery doesn't last very long, but I caught it in time. Okay. So 2 Corinthians 3, 15 through 18. Let's see what it says. Yeah, 15 through 18. Huh, okay, well this is part of, you know, we read last night about the one true God and uh, false gods. This is kind of like back to Israel. Seeing then that we have, this is like verse 12, 2 Corinthians 3, verse 12. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plain, 
plainness of speech, and not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which was abolished. But their minds were blinded, for until this day remaineth the same veil undertaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. So when um, when Jesus died on the cross, um, the Holy of Holies was done away with. And so the veil, the veil in the temple between the Israelites and God was rent in two. So because of Jesus, we have access to God. We don't have to have a priest go behind a curtain and do sacrifices for us. Through Jesus, we have access to God anytime we want to have access to God. He is available anytime through Jesus. Uh, but even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Now, I think the Israelites now, they don't realize that Jesus was the Messiah. So they still go to their priests. But I don't think they do sacrifices right now, but they're trying to learn how to do that so they can do it. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. So the veil is gone now. You know, we have access through Jesus to God. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of, Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. And I believe that's talking about our spiritual bodies. When we are turned into our spiritual bodies, we will be like the Spirit of the Lord. Right now, we have um, mortal bodies. We have um, bodies that we have to take care of. Where spiritual bodies are going to be perfect and there's not going to be any defects. There's not going to be any sickness. There's not going to be like my hip won't hurt when I have my spiritual body because I won't have the physical things that we have now. And uh, okay, let's move on to 2 Corinthians 4 4. Or four, three, and four, and see what that says. Okay, let's just start at the beginning of that, which is where we left off, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You know, and we don't need to hide that. We need to share that. We need to share that with others. We so need to share it with them. In whom the God of this world, which is our enemy, Satan, hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts, to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. So right now, through our vessels, our willing vessels, we can share the gospel of Jesus. And people that are not saved can see the light of Jesus in us if we are telling them the truth and if we are 
you know, expressing some of the things that God has done in our lives, you know, they can see that light. We are to be that light. We are always to be that light. Okay, 1 Corinthians 11, 7. All right, I'm not going to read that because that really doesn't talk about the image. It talks about a man not covering his head and a woman covering her head. And I don't think it really talks about what we're talking about tonight. Okay. So, we are made in the image of God. And I wish I could share with you what I wrote today, but I can't get to it without um, messing up my camera. I don't know. Let me try something. Let me see if this will work. Um, maybe I can do both. I see people do stuff like this all the time. And I'm quite, I'm quite impressed. Oh, except that my music is up and I can't see. Hang on. No. I'm going to be covering that up. Let me move it over here to the side. Move myself way, way over here until I can get this until I can figure this out. Because I have all this stuff open right here. Mm. But I think that Facebook is open over here. I'm going to scoot this over too. Oh, that's going to cover up my camera. I'm just going to lift it up for a minute. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I want to read what I wrote today on... Uh, Facebook. So sorry. It's just, uh, okay. Just have to find it. There we are. Anyway, I shared uh, Made in the Image of God by We Are Messengers, which I really like We Are Messengers, because I woke up singing this song this morning. Um, so I woke up singing this song in message by We Are Messengers. Oh, I can't read all of it. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me see if I can scoot that over a little bit. I can. Okay, there we are. There we are. Now I can scoot it out a little bit more. It's got the edit thing there. Okay. So, um... Made in the Image of God is the name of this song, and it's by We Are Messengers, and I love the lyrics and um, of this song. Um, I think we forget the fact in wanting to be right and arguing about the things that will make no difference. Oh, sorry. That will make no difference someday. Um, I think we spend a lot of times trying to convince people that we are right and when we leave here it's not going to matter it's just there's just things that are not going to matter and so um, I watched about an hour of the hearing yesterday and it continued today I think that our former president got acquitted but I'm not sure I saw that he did and I, then I looked on YouTube and I didn't see anything that said he did so I'm gonna, but I think he did. He, I have another platform that I use and he had put a message on there. So anyway, that's, that's a good thing. That might help, that might help our country. Anyway, so I watched it yesterday and I saw people blatantly lying and but then there was a video that was showing the truth. So I was just like, how can people lie? And um, the truth is right there. And, and I put, people that God created for His glory and to love Him have chosen to follow other gods. And we talked about that last night. 
we talked about the one true God versus the false gods. So I was seeing something that lined up with that. So these are not gods of the truth, but lies in ultimate destruction. Then last night I shared about the story of Elijah and the one true God versus false gods on Awesome Treasures Ministry. As I read this story again last night, it became apparent to me that God is loving, is a loving, forgiving God. Like the Israelites in this story, He wants to know that we are loving Him, trusting Him, obeying Him above all. We were all made in the image of God. We were all created to love Him and not other gods, just Him alone. I see this being the real separation. I really see this being the real wall between people and God is that they don't love Him. They don't love Him. They don't follow Him. They don't read His Word. They don't pray to Him. They don't have a relationship with Him. And that's why they have this wall. And uh, so how did we get to this point where we think that our neighbor is our enemy because they don't agree? As adults and even younger adults, can't we come together and agree to disagree without being enemies? This kind of thought process comes through the love of Jesus, and it does. We can't do this without Jesus. He was the best example of loving people as they are, and he was. He loved people that we probably wouldn't have given the time of day. He loved them. He forgave them. He... he changed their life and made their life better just by them coming in contact with him and he, he still does that now in our lives he makes our lives better and um, I'm sorry I lost my place I have the closest relationship to God Jesus and the Holy Spirit than ever in my life um, we need to remember that God created all of us in His image. He loves His children as much as those that follow other false gods. And that's true too. He loves them too. He loves them the same as He loves us. Um, he is constantly reaching out to them, inviting them to repent. If anyone would read the story of Elijah in 1 Kings 18, they would see the love, compassion, forgiveness of the one true God and how the false gods will fail people every time. Please, if you personally have stepped away from the loving God, repent and return to Him. He knows... lost my place again. He knows what you have done and is lovingly waiting to forgive you now. If you are not saved today, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. If we love people, we will tell them the truth. The truth is that God loves everyone the same, but will punish sin. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants no one to perish. John 3, 16 through 21, which also talks about um, being condemned. I mean, 16 and 17 doesn't, but then it talks about being condemned, and if you're not condemned, that you are a child of God. So call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Leave the old, receive the new. So that is what I felt compelled to write today after what I watched yesterday. And I haven't watched the highlights of today because after I watched yesterday, it just... it. It makes me angry. It really grates against my spirit for people, for me to watch people lie when I just watch the truth. I just watch the truth. So you're standing up there and you're lying and you just watch the truth three times while ago. You know, I don't get it. But I think I don't get it because I have Jesus and I have the Holy Spirit that when I lie, man, the Holy Spirit grates against me. It makes me miserable and convicts me. But the only difference between me and them is that I'm, I've been saved. And that's only by the grace of God. That is nothing that I did except I was willing to accept. But anyway, that's, I woke up singing this song just 
straight out of bed. I haven't heard it in a while. We played it at youth one day and I really I really liked it and I want to do it again at youth and I'm trying to come up with um, a list of really good youth songs that they're gonna like that are very impacting if we if we ever get back to youth now it's cold now it's super cold but maybe maybe the cold will go away by the end of next week I think maybe it's gonna be above freezing by Friday <laughs> this is so unusual for us because we are not used to this weather I am not used to it and people are just going and coming and I'm just like I am not going outside it's 20 degrees I'm not having to work today so I am not going outside okay well I just wanted to read that because I thought it was uh, I'm gonna move this back over so that I am looking I'm not having to look back and forth as much okay so I am going to go over my conversation that I had with God and I need a drink of water I am so sorry I think I'm gonna start bringing coffee cups in here with water um, but I didn't today I really want coffee at night but I can't sleep okay so good morning God good morning child I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings child new opportunities to share my truth and share the gospel of Jesus a new day child to get work done and I did I got a lot done I got it all done here in my office and I think that's why my hip hurts so bad because I've been sitting in this chair for a while and I said thank you God for a new day of mercies and blessings God new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus a new day to get things done thank you for all of my blessings from you including family and friends thank you for your provisions also God help me to see all people as you do as your children created by you and in your image not judging because all is not over yet and we do not know who is your child and who is not because we do not know all hearts and minds like you do help me to love even though I don't I do not agree child uh, you child yes you saw that in my world last night in my word last night I have created all my all in my image in our image and only I know who will accept Jesus or return to me as my children and I said I see that God I'm amazed at the blatant lies yesterday while they were watching the truth while I and they were watching the truth child see that the truth is being revealed and the news stations are airing it live for all to see and that's true I see one benefit in this trial and that is that the uncut truth is being revealed to everyone everyone because the news stations are having to air it they can't they're airing it live so they can't cut and choose where they want to stop the video they have they're doing all of it live so all of it is live and um, I think it needed to be all truth will be revealed all evil will be revealed just like in the story you read in other parts of my word last night you know what the truth the truth who is the true God not this false god that they you know oh Baal come and the blah 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 you know and he never did come you know not him the one true god that sent fire and burned that sacrifice up and licked up every bit of the water and then as a blessing to the Israelites because they believed and they trusted and they gave their water their personal water he blessed them with rain 
And that's what kind of one true God we have. He's amazing. Um, oh, I lost my place again. I'm so sorry. I see all that you are that you say clearly in your word and on display to God. I see what's taking place. All the truth is being revealed. Okay, the evil will be revealed to all. Even the world will see how hateful these have been. But keep in mind until the end, they are my created in my image to be my children. And only I know their hearts and minds. And I said, I see all that you're saying clearly in your word and on display to God. I see what is taking place. All truth is being revealed and they can't control it and really have asked for it. My prayer is that through this, many will turn back to you and to Jesus. Thank you for meeting with me today, God. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, God. Give my mom and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, child, and all is forgiven. No one cares here about what took place on earth. It does not carry over to here. We are all at perfect peace. Soon all will be in the past for you too and all my children. Be ready for the glorious appearing of Jesus soon. The reunion child is soon and I will be so happy to see all of my children here free from the ways of the world. And I said, Maranatha, God, because I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, ready, ready. It's a mess back here. I need to clean that. I can't see it in this camera, but I can see it in this one. Okay, so before tomorrow, note to self, I need to clean that. Okay, so now it is time to share the gospel. I don't know how I want to share it. I want to find some different ways. I really like this E-band. I really like this. I like this E-band. Uh-oh. Having a hard time getting it on both cameras. Oh, there we are. Okay. So this is the E-band. I like it. Salvation is the most important thing to God right now is that people get saved. Also that his prodigals come home. That they repent of their sins and they come home. Um, so every night I share the salvation message. I can save no one but Jesus can. So I share it with others. And so this is the eBand, eBand.com. This is the eBand that our pastor gave us. He gave us these bracelets so we can share the gospel. And I don't wear mine um, because I make my own bracelets that I like to wear. And like tonight, I have my unashamed bracelet on. Um, I'm real, I haven't made bracelets in a long time, but I did it a lot last year because I was stuck at home and I enjoyed it. I need to get me some more beads though. Okay, so for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes. And that is Romans 1.16. And so the gold color on this band represents God, the creator of all who lives in heaven. The Bible says that God is light, and in Him there is no darkness. God is perfect, just like He was telling me. You know, heaven's perfect. Everybody is in their perfected, not sick bodies. They are, they are doing whatever they want, which is great because some some people that I know that have died, they in their in their um, mortal bodies, they weren't able to do what they wanted anymore. Their bodies wouldn't let them. So God loves you and he wants to have a personal relationship with you. Jesus is God's son. The Bible says that Jesus and God are one. Jesus and God are one. 
So this next thing, which is the black question mark. This is hard getting it on both cameras. Okay. The black question mark. I'm going to have to move out of the way. The black question mark, the dark color represents sin, which is doing wrong things. God says that all have sinned and fall short of God's standard of perfection. Sin separates us from God. The Bible says that the penalty for our sin is death. Um, or separation from God forever. So sin separates us from God. Sin is a wall between us and God. Because God is perfect. Like we said, God is perfect. God is holy. So sin separates us from God. So the first question Mark is asking, how can your sins be removed so that you can know God? And so the answer is the red color. The red color represents Jesus' blood. Jesus lived a perfect and sin sinless life, but he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all our sin. Again, the payment for sin is death. So Jesus paid the penalty for each of us. Why? The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only Son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life with God. The good news is that you don't have to be separated from God forever by sin. We don't have to be separated. The white color is... The white color represents each of us after our sins are washed away by Jesus. How can Jesus wash our sins away. When we believe in Jesus by following him, our sins are forgiven. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10 9. So the question mark is asking, have you accepted Jesus's gift of forgiveness by believing in him? So if you have not, if you have not, and you would like to, then repeat this prayer after me. And um, I will leave space so that you can repeat it if you would like. Uh, God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on the cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now put my faith only in Jesus to forgive me and save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So then the green color. The green color represents growth in your relationship with God. These symbols show the areas of growth. Okay. So you have the heart. You have the heart. The greatest commandment is that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And that we love our neighbor as ourselves. Love God. Love people. So then the next symbol is... Read the Bible each day and learn more about God and His love. And I would start in Matthew so you can learn more about Jesus. Excuse me. Pray to God constantly and share your thoughts, needs, and desires with Him through prayer. 
Pray for God to send you to a church where you can be baptized. When we are baptized, we are telling the world that we have committed our lives to Jesus and that we are a new person like being born all over again. And then, uh oh. Hang out with other Christians and encourage each other. Church is a good place to start. And then, share the good news that Jesus can forgive sins when you trust him. Tell as many people as you can. Do not, please share. If you got saved, please share. If you got saved, please put your name in the comments. Now I'm taping this over here because I'm gonna upload it to YouTube, maybe. I don't know whether it will upload to YouTube or not, but I have another format too. I've found some more, I found some more platforms that when these platforms get to where um, they're not letting us say what we wanna say <laughs> anymore, then I have some backup platforms that I can use too that you can just get on from the internet. It's not that hard to get on there. And um, I've been working on that today. So I've been cleaning two computers out and I'm gonna start using my personal computer. I'm gonna start using in here in my office because I got it to where it will print. I got internet in here, so I'm good. And it's a, uh, it's a little bit newer than the other computer I was using, but I'm going to convert it back. I've cleaned it off so that I can use it for youth music, and hopefully I won't have to haul it back and forth like I had to mine. Okay, well, I just hit my desk, so it's like earthquake time. Okay, well, I think that I need to do this blessing from God. in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And we all need some peace. We definitely need peace. So, um, do you have any prayer requests, Josie? Are you still there, Josie? Do you have any prayer requests? My friend Josie comes and she hangs out with me so I don't have to be talking to myself by myself. I kinda like this camera over here. I have snow falling. Not that there's snow falling outside, but anyway, it's kinda fun. There's um, effects that you can put over here on this camera. Okay, well, she may be talking to somebody. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. Um, I'll pray for some of the things that she wants me to pray for. God, we just come to you and we just thank you, God. We thank you that we are made in your image. We thank you that you do have a plan and purpose for every one of us and that your love for us is just so amazing and so unbelievable and that you are faithful and you are patient and you are forgiving God and you want the very best for each and every one of us God and you are constantly reaching out to those that do not know you God I just pray that you will help us that you will give us the boldness to reach out to others that, God, you would help us to reflect the love, the light, and the hope of Jesus, the compassion. God, I just lift up the sick people. God, I just pray for Josie's friends that are have been sick. God, I pray that you would continue to heal them. I pray for Melissa. I just pray, God, that you will... Just help her and her baby just to get stronger and stronger every day, God. Just be with them. Let them feel your presence, God. 
be with Josie, help Josie to get better too, help her to just feel better and stronger every day, God. And uh, we just pray, God, for um, peace and love and unity. And my child is in here. We just pray that you would help us to be more and more in your presence every day, God, and that you would help us to testify to your goodness and that you would just help us to um, encourage others to God. We just pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray, God, that you would um, give them peace, comfort, and strength. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I had to put my hand on my son's mouth because... <laughs> All right, and we pray for Mike and his family also, God. We pray for uh, blessings and protection and for Josie and her family and for provision too. And I'm, again, I'm putting my <laughs> hand on my son's mouth so he won't make the noise that he makes with his mouth. But he can breathe. I don't have my hand over his nose. I just, he's licking my head <laughs> between him and the cat. I'll tell you what, my life is so fun. I'll tell you what. And then you throw my husband in there too, but he's he's out sliding around somewhere. You can't keep him home on these days. All right, well, I love you all, and God bless you all, and good night.